This segment brought to you by Kansas Corn. Learn more at kscorn.com. We've talked about already of how we actually capture the water. Um, and at this point, I'll show you how we actually recycle it and put it back into our loop system for the cattle to drink. Um, when the, when the uh, water gets that certain level in the concrete tank, um, our pump will kick on out there and the water will be sent through one of these two media sand filters. There's silica sand that's up to about this level in the tank. The water will be forced through there, uh, goes through the sand media filter. At that point, it goes into what we call our clean water tank. When the clean water tank gets to a certain level, which is about to right here, there's a sensor on it as well. That will turn this pump on here. This pump will pull the water out of that tank. It'll run it through the UV light. And then at that point, uh, we're back into our loop system here. Um, our entire feed yard is, is tied in with, uh, all tied together, all 17 wells we utilize um, are tied in what we call a loop system. So this is actually set up on a pressure switch, so the pressure in the yard does not dictate when this water kicks on or off. Um, if we're having wells run and they're almost at their limit when the pressure is, is high enough, it'll shut those wells off it'll still pull this water first and it'll shut wells off at that point if it needs to. Um, currently, like we discussed, this is our third unit. Um, we started in 2014, uh, put it on our west side of the yard. Last year we finished one on our east side of the yard and now at the south section of the yard which captures about 82% of the um, water or cattle pens that we have here. Um, next year in 2017 we plan on capturing the oldest part of the yard is our middle section. It's the toughest for us to capture, um, but we're planning on tackling that next year. So we should have 100% of the yard um, recycled at that point. Um, some statistics. So in 2016, so far, utilizing um, two units, our west section and east section, which make up 55% that have ran so far to uh, August 30th, is right at 8.6 million gallons we've recycled this year. Um, in 2015, um, we only had one full system on, which is 23% of the yard, and the other system on for about four months. Um, but in that year alone, we averaged 5,000 head of cattle more on feed. We had an addition in that year as well. And we recycled uh, 1.3 million gallons less water than what we used the year before, having 5,000 more cattle on feed. So what that equates back to, our five-year average has been 10.3 gallons per head per day. Uh, we used in 2015, um, we used um, 9.6. So it equates back to 8% uh, less water used and, and only capturing really 23% of the yard recycled for the full year and 55% captured for um, four months. So this year, um, we're hoping to kind of round out, um, you know, a little over 10 to 12 million this year is what our estimation is. Um, we're recycling our west and east units in 2016 just to shade over 37,000 gallons per day average. Um, so this year we're, we're hoping to capture, uh, you know, between, I say 12 million, around 12 million total for the year. Um, and next year with all three units going and part of the year with the full yard, we're hoping to get in the 25 million gallon range um, that we're going to recycle. Hello friends, I'm Ernie Rodina. And I'm Don Dawson with the Better Horses Radio Show. For over nine years, we've been bringing the Better Horses Radio Show to markets all across the Midwest. We talk about God, lots about horses. We talk about cows, we talk about horse health, we talk to top trainers, and we even talk about Roy Rogers. We're having a blast with Better Horses Radio Show and would love to take it to a market near you. So visit our website at betterhorsesradio.com and let us or your local radio station know you'd like to hear it in your area. The Better Horses Radio Show is unbelievable. unbelievable.